welcome back guys in this video we'll be talking about androgens when i talk about androgens i talk about hormones especially steroid hormones that are much more specific for male than female so let's talk about it so in a basic term androgens are steroid hormones found in both male and female but it is found more in male than female because androgens contain the hormones like testosterone right and different varieties of testosterone hydroxy testosterone uh, then uh, keto testosterone and all these different varieties of testosterone hormones should be for found in male more than female now some of you may think that testosterone is only found in men but this is not true because testosterone is found in both male and female uh, but it is uh, predominant in male and the thing is this androgens are a type of steroid hormones because they have a typical steroid characteristics and the precursor for all these androgen hormones are four ring structure called cholesterol and we know that what is cholesterol because nowadays it's very common a kind of bad guy in our life because it's if it's found in our, in our blood but the thing is cholesterol is a very important um, molecule in your body it's a lipid kind of molecule fat kind of molecule that is present it's a four membered ring structure it's a kind of complicated structure that's why i'm not going to draw it here but the thing is if we have this cholesterol in our hand let's say we have this cholesterol which is four ring structure there are different enzymes that are present in our body i'm not again go going to talk about the name of the enzymes but there are certain enzymes which can add specific groups uh, to the different regions of the cholesterol because it's having all those uh, different multiple core structures based on the carbon position because different rings and carbons are placed in different regions of the rings so there are enzymes which can tag certain chemical groups in the different carbon position in a cholesterol structure for example the chemical group can be uh, ch3 for example so they can add this different type of methyl group or methyl or different types of groups there so after providing this group or attaching this group they will modify this cholesterol into certain different type of molecule or uh, molecule in that case the molecule in this case for example pregnenolone this is the precursor molecule for producing any type of cholesterol any type of cholesterol derivative that is androgens and testosterone and so on so once they produce pregnenolone after that that pregnenolone give rise to testosterones so once testosterones are produced those testosterone can be further modified by different chemical group addition same thing can go on here now that will be modified to for example different type of androgens different types of androgens which we are talking here testosterone obviously is one of the most predominant type of androgen found in male body right and this all this type of steroid hormones like androgens they are very much important for the development of sexual characteristics in male body right the masculinity of a male as well as the different type of major sexual characteristics the mental growth and the different uh, things that are coming with sexual characteristics like uh, you know muscle power and also the muscle mass it's uh, predominantly made uh, in uh, male testis and uh, an adrenal gland that is present in both, both male and women but majorly it's present and produced in the male testis and it can only be produced by the female ovaries so it is present in female body but in very minute amount estrogen is also found in human body i mean it's also found in male body in little amount so it depends on which kind of gender they start to produce after the uh, you know maturation of the egg and also uh, the differentiation of the egg and finally it needs to determine what kind of gender it's going to produce and then first genetic effect will show on once they determine that yes this particular embryo contains a y chromosome and we need to convert this individual into a male one in that case they activate all those male predominant hormones in that particular embryo during the embryogenesis and it develops uh, in that male fashion in the other hand it will develop in the female fashion the same way so these are the features of androgen 
Now, once you know the androgens and the hormones like testosterone, uh, hydroxy testosterone, keto testosterone, th those are pretty common present all over the body. And the thing is, uh, they are always secreted from our body but depend on particular specific time secretions. It also depends on when the testosterone secretion will go high or low. It depends upon different cell signaling process that is going on inside our body. Now, the thing is, uh, it's a very important thing about testosterone and all the steroid hormones are that the mechanism of action for these steroid hormones are a little different than the mechanism of action of other hormones that are present. Because you know, we know about the cell cycle or cell signaling process. In the cell signaling process, what we know is uh, we need a signaling molecule. We also require a signal receptor and the molecule will dock onto the receptor. It will provide some signal inside. So if I draw it here, what it will look like. So this is the cell and outside what we have is the signal receptor and the signaling molecule let's say here it is red in color it will come and dock to the receptor it will send some signaling inside because there are certain uh, signal receiver inside the cell in the cytosol of the cell they will receive the signal and relay that signal to the next level by phosphorylation usually because the enzymes inside the in the cell signaling cascade are most of the time phosphorylating enzymes or kinase enzymes so they will relay the signal by phosphorylating other molecules and so on it will it will move inside and finally it will move inside the nucleus and once it is inside the nucleus where we have the dna present right uh, which contains all the necessary information for production of mrna which can be translated into the required proteins because everything until unless you produce a protein it is worthless so the signal will finally provide and and put this signal to the transcription factor remember the transcription factor and then the transcription factor will sit onto the dna proper promoter region of the dna and help transcribing an mrna segment which can be transported then from the nucleus into the cytosol and then be translated into proteins. So this is the general rule of cell signaling inside the cell. But using this testosterone, all the steroids hormones, what happens? The steroid hormones as it is made up with mostly fat components like <coughs> cholesterol, in that case it's not very easy for this hormone to be passed and directly entered into the cytosol it's kind of difficult so what it will do actually most of the time it will bound with the receptor that is present uh, outside and then they will form a loop and and they form a vesicle like vesicle like structure and it will be inserted into the cell and then finally it will it will brought it will be very brought very close to let's say the cell nucleus and it will be fused with the nuclear membrane and once it is fused with the nuclear membrane that hormone itself is delivered inside the nucleus so this is a very interesting thing it is not activating any signaling in the cytosol there it's itself inserting itself into the nucleus first so once that hormone is in the nucleus then that hormone those androgens itself can act as transcription factors and that's very important thing because there are certain transcription uh, there are certain hormonal receptors present inside the nucleus so those hormonal receptors for example let me draw here this is a hormonal receptor and this is one one of our, our like say testosterone hormone so they will interact and they will act as along with act as the transcription factor here and they will sit on to the promoter of the dna let's say this is the promoter of the dna and then they start transcribing that gene of interest and they will produce the mrna so that's how the cell signaling occurs using this androgens or the steroid type of hormones okay now uh, during the, i've told you previously that the expression of all those genes uh, is definitely depend upon what gender it is if it's female it will be tightly regulated and the secretion of this androgens will be less but if it's male with containing y chromosomes the secretion of this androgens will be much higher and usually it's kind of constitutive throughout the time uh, but sometimes the secretion of testosterone goes high sometimes it can go low so that's kind of all about uh, androgens and i hope that's helpful thank you